years ago. And she's been there for you every day since. It's because you've taken care of her, pampered her. Only the best will do. That's why you choose Lucas Oil Marine Products to protect her. Every day she starts, gets you there, and gets you back. Even after all these years. Lucas Oil Marine Products. Because it's no fun to walk back to shore from the middle of the lake. We put the Rockport Rattler to a real test. Two champion anglers using four rods with the competition jigs against four rods using the Rockport Rattler. The result, the Rockport Rattler outfished the competition 10 to 1. Rockport Rattler, Gray Hayes. His patented rattling jig contains a rattling chamber in the body of the jig. The rattle is amplified by using water as a conductor. Rockport Rattler. Making fish hear it at much greater distances. Just like a dinner bell for fish. If you don't have a Rockport Rattler, you ain't catching crap. You know, I've never really had an office job. Ooh, <laughs> morning, Skate. Morning, Edwin. <laughs> Go to teamgtfishing.com to see more. B&M Pulse is a family-owned business in its third generation of ownership and over 70 years of providing the most extensive line of crappie rods in the industry. We believe that sensitivity is the key to catching crappie and we've designed a rod for every technique based around this belief. Our products are field tested by the best fishermen in the country and used by the best guides because their clients can simply catch more crappie. So when you're choosing your next crappie pole, go with the brand that's won a dozen national championships and more regional events to count. Go with the brand I choose, B&M. Welcome to American Crappie Trail, and we are live here at Truman Reservoir. How you doing, Matt? Doing good, Sam. Um, Truman Lake, presented by Rockport Rattler and Martin Metal. Uh, Martin Metal is a Missouri-based business, not too far down the road, about an hour down the road. All your post and frame needs. Right. They ship all over the country. Truman Lake, awesome lake, Sam. Oh my goodness. We were, you know, we were out there this morning and, you know, we watched some of the teams that uh, were uh, in that creek and, you know, they all had fish and they were catching fish. They caught fish while we were there with them and they were do using different techniques. It was amazing at how these guys use those electronics, how they read that water column and, and you know, I just can't believe crappie fishing has come this far. It sure is technical. I tell you, it's not, uh, you know, people think crappie fishing, you know, five-gallon bucket, straw hat on the bank. <laughs> Let me tell you something. It is the most technical, I believe, yeah. type of fishing uh, that there is in existence today, especially in the fishing industry. Um, you know, I can't say enough about Truman, about Clinton. Clinton, the hospitality, Sam. Oh, we had such a good time last night at the captain's meeting. We, uh, you know, Golden Corral provided our food, and it was delicious. It was uh, barbecue and baked beans and just more and, and desserts. And, you know, everybody here, from the people in the motels to the people in the restaurants to the people here at Bucksaw, everyone has been just absolutely fantastic. I can't believe it. This is def definitely a fishing community. It is. You know, Bucksaw is an absolute awesome venue to, to host a crappie fishing tournament, oh. or any tournament for that matter. Yeah. You know, we've got a great venue here, covered, um, a covered area. We're going to have a drive through weigh-in tomorrow. We're mm -hmm. going to allow the anglers a little bit of time, showcase the rigs that they've got. You know, these guys have got seventy, eighty thousand dollars $80,000 in their crappie rigs. And a lot of people don't think that. So we're going to pull, have a, pull a drive through way off, way in tomorrow. Way in. We're going to pull it off tomorrow. Um, it's going to be something for people to see. Um, you know, Erica Barnhart, come on up here if you come will. Come up here, Erica. This lady is with the, the Chamber of Commerce in Clinton. She is the tourism director. Come on up here. I'm going to give you my seat and talk for a minute. Sam wants to ask you a few questions. But I can't thank you enough for having us come. Here to, Come up to, here. To I'm Truman only Lake. mad. I'm mad though because she didn't bring Ellie with her. She uh, has got the cutest little girl you ever saw in her life, man. Thank you. Hey, welcome <laughs> to the tournament, girlfriend. Thank you. Welcome. Thank you for having me. Well, I tell you, I'm so impressed with Clinton, and I know you have a lot to do with that. What is yeah. the population of Clinton, and how did it become such a fishing community? 
Well, uh, the population is a little over 9,000. Okay. Um, and this lake right here is yeah. what made it. So uh, we have lots of hunters and fishermen here in town, and I think between all of them and, and just the lake itself, it's brought a lot of people here. You know, your chamber gets it, man. They, they understand that these guys not only come fishing, but they come spending money too. Every motel <laughs> in this town's full, every restaurant's full. It, it's fantastic, so, and y'all have been so nice, and I know you're a big part of that, well, catering takes, to the fish. Well, it takes a lot of people. It's not just yeah. me, it takes yeah. a lot of us, so. Yeah, that, we worked last night. She can, I'm gonna tell you, she's pretty strong. <laughs> we put all them tables and chairs up last night, and she did her part, and carried her baby girl most of the time. Well, yeah, I can't get very far from her. <laughs> <laughs> no, she, I wouldn't want to. Somebody no. steal her, she's so cute. But Clinton is, uh, you know, it's, so much about wildlife. I mean, you know, I've seen so many other things, the, the boat businesses, the four-wheeler businesses, the sporting good businesses. They're all so outdoor oriented. Yes, you know, I mean, we have hunting, fishing, the Katy Trail. Um, just south of town, we have an ATV park. So, I mean, with everything that we have here in town, um, those businesses just are an added as asset right. to our community. Right. Every, everybody in Clinton must own a motorhome or an or a RV or, a, or a, a trailer, a travel trailer, because everywhere I do. go, <laughs> I see them on the side of the road in the yards and everything. Yep. This is an outdoor community. It is. Yeah, and, and a beautiful lake. Do y'all have a lot of interaction with the Corps of Engineers or whoever runs this lake out here with the water levels and the fish, uh, the fish habitat and that kind of thing? So um, I, since I just took this position in March, I haven't worked with them a whole lot, but mm -hmm. eventually that is my goal is to get out there and, yeah. and work with everyone. So. You know, I've said for years that, uh, you know, when you catch them, they're, they're a meal. And, but if you turn them back in the lake, they're dollar bills. Yeah. <laughs> you know, so <laughs> it, uh, it works out that way. They're, a lot, they're worth a lot more alive than they are dead. Yeah. You know, and, and people are getting that. You know, people are getting that. Uh, you see every community it, around these lakes, they're kind of banded together to make it better for the environment. Mm -hmm. Absolutely. Yeah. And, uh, you know, we appreciate you having us here. Well, I appreciate and all it, of you coming, um, and I'm, if, I'm just glad to have you all here. And it's so. been a pleasure working with you well, and you. Ellie. <laughs> And Don't forget Carson. this one over here. Yeah, yeah. he tried, threatened to he, throw cocoa he's on me my a while ago. So. <laughs> I told him you did that. Thank you. Thanks. Thanks Thank again. you, Erica. Sam, real quick. Um, we come into town. I come into town on uh, Sunday night, and I want to give a little recognition. Gary Michael Jr. was a police officer in Clinton, Missouri, mm -hmm. and he made it a routine traffic stop at 10:45 at night mm -hmm. and was tragically shot and lost his life mm -hmm. in service mm -hmm. and uh you know we've talked about this you and i um you know one-on-one -on -one. right and you know the police officers we we've had first responders you know media fish off events so those guys are near and dear to my heart, and I know that they are very much oh, you, yeah. uh, the same way. And I want everyone to know that's watching that, uh, you know, American Crappie Trail, being here this week, we've witnessed it firsthand. They have caught the individual, right? which is a blessing from the Lord above. Yeah. Um, but it saddens our heart. The officer wounded him before he, got a, before he died. Though. He did. He did. It, it saddens me. And you and I talked intimately this morning about sure. it that, you know, it does, it saddens you, but it makes you mad. It makes me so mad. I can't believe why anyone would hurt the people that are protecting our communities and are keeping the law-abiding citizens safe. And it just, it, it just confuses me, and I don't know what these people are thinking. Obviously, they're very sick people. They need help. But to take a life of a man that is willing to give his life up for the health of the community, man, it, they're heroes. They are. They are. Our prayers are with his family. Yes, sir. Bottom line. I'll but, tell you what. You know, and not to switch gears, you know, we've got a, we've got a way in that's getting ready to happen here shortly. Sure. You know, the lake, the lake conditions, they've changed, Sam. They've changed over the past week. Um, 
We've had five, six inches of rain on Saturday night last week. The lake's jumped five or six foot. It's chocolate milk muddy over here on the grand side. What are you seeing? What are you thinking? Well, you know, we've been on the lake some, and uh, on the grand side, it's, it's uh, chocolate milk. On the Osage side, it's a little bit better. But, you know, now the weather has stabilized mm -hmm. a little bit. We've had a beautiful day today with partly cloudy skies, 5 to 10 mile an hour wind, and we see a lot of fish being caught. Yeah. You know, but, and they're not gigantic fish yet, but I know our anglers here at American Crappie Trail. And our anglers are the best in the world. There's and no doubt. I know they will find those bigger fish. There's no doubt, I guarantee you. You know, this time of year at summertime fishing at Lake Truman, usually catching, you know, at least 50, if not 100 fish a day. And I guarantee you, if we were to interview every person that come across this stage, they're going to say they caught 50, 60, 70 fish. Sure. In some of the worst conditions that you could imagine. Right. But all that being said, you know, we watched some anglers today, and, you know, some of the best of the best. And, and I said that, Typically, it usually takes about 10 pounds a day. Mm -hmm. And I, coming into the tournament this morning, I kind of made a prediction. I figured about nine pounds a day was going to do, you know, right. do it. Um, I'm telling you, Sam, I think it's going to be 10 pounds a day. I do, too. Uh, from what we saw this morning, I honestly believe it's going to take 10 pounds a day to win this thing. Yeah, the, uh, we're going to come back in a minute. You know, Truman Lake, it's awesome. The live weigh-in. It's going to be awesome. We're going to be back in just a minute. We're going to take a break. We'll be right back. Stay tuned. B&M Pulse is a family-owned business in its third generation of ownership and over 70 years of providing the most extensive line of crappie rods in the industry. We believe that sensitivity is the key to catching crappie, and we've designed a rod for every technique based around this belief. Our products are field tested by the best fishermen in the country and used by the best guides because their clients can simply catch more crappie. So when you're choosing your next crappie pole, Go with the brand that's won a dozen national championships and more regional events to count. Go with the brand I choose, BNM. We put the Rockport Rattler to a real test. Two champion anglers using four rods with the competition jigs against four rods using the Rockport Rattler. The result, the Rockport Rattler outfished the competition 10 to 1. Rockport Rattler, great head. This patented rattling jig contains a rattling chamber in the body of the jig. The rattle is amplified by using water as a conductor. Rockport Rattler. Making fish hear it at much greater distances. Just like a dinner bell of fish. If you don't have a Rockport Rattler, you ain't catching crappy. B&M Pulse is a family-owned business in its third generation of ownership and over 70 years of providing the most extensive line of crappie rods in the industry. We believe that sensitivity is the key to catching crappie and we've designed a rod for every technique based around this belief. Our products are field tested by the best fishermen in the country and used by the best guides because their clients can simply catch more crappie. So when you're choosing your next crappie pole, go with the brand that's won a dozen national championships and more regional events to count. Go with the brand I choose, B&M. Live show. Matt, let's do the Lucas Oil Rundown. Let's do it. Um, Sam, you and I took a trip out on the water today where I thought a lot of anglers would be, and it just so happened that we went um, on the upper end of the Osage mm -hmm. Arm where I thought that a lot of anglers would be for one primary reason, and that's just cleaner water. Right. We popped into uh, to a, a creek, and boy, did we run into some powerhouse anglers. Man, we ran into the... Caps Coleman team, Edgar team, several of the other teams that, uh, yep. and they were catching, man. They were catching while we were there. The first boat we pulled up on was Tony Edgar and Travis Lepley. They're out just outside the top 10 in the B&M Angler of the Year points race, mm -hmm. but they haven't fished. They missed uh, Kentucky Lake. So they've only fished three oh, events thus they far. they missed that tournament. Exactly, so we've got, this is, makes, makes up their fourth tournament. Um, so they're gonna jump back up in the points. Remember, the trick with American Crappie Trail, the curveball, is the championship counts toward Angler of the Year, which is a brand new Ranger RT-188 boat. But we just popped up on, uh, on Tony and Travis, and they were fishing shallow. Yeah, you know, they were sitting, they were sitting in 9.8 feet of water, and they were fishing four feet deep. Which maybe. Re huh, maybe. Huh, maybe four feet yes. deep. Because I didn't take that foot off. They had their poles up out of the water. Right. But they were fishing in the top part of the water column. They were. They, uh, you know, smart about what they were doing. They were fishing with great boat control, fishing into the wind, controlling the baits, fishing about three foot is what I called it, about three foot deep. 
And we saw them pick up uh, one or two fish, and I know at least one of them was an upgrade. Yeah, it was an upgrade. They put it in their live well and call a fish. And, uh, you know, it was amazing to me that they could find those fish in that upper water column. And that just shows me that these guys are so good with their electronics, man. They know how to read those electronics. They know how to set those electronics. And I guarantee you, every one of them has read the instruction manual on those electronics. Oh, I guarantee you this. And I'm going to tell you, here we go. You know, we, we talk about them a lot. But you go to, um, to Caps and Coleman, second team we went to. You talk about the powerhouse. Been icons for 30 years. Won a million dollars plus in tournament winnings. Right. Spent probably $2 million to get it. Yeah. You know, just the, the, the way the crappie fishing business goes. But... You talk about electronics and knowing how to read them. Ronnie and Steve are two of the best out there doing it, and we watch them catch two or at least yeah. two upgrade fish. It, at least two upgrade fish. And, you know, not to change the subject, but, you know, we, we watch Shepherd and Shepherd. Right. One Poland. One Poland oh, yeah. out there, man. So they were doing something totally different, and there was five boats and a half an acre there. And, you know, those guys didn't care what that other team was doing. No. They knew what their game plan was, and they were sticking to it. The guys, you know, the level of competition, they're dialed in. They're absolutely, you know, I could get within 10 foot of them, and they wouldn't even know I was there. Exactly. You know, I asked each one of them, you know, hey, I'm going to pull up close to you. Let's get some good shots. And, and I asked them, you know, on a one-on-one -on -one basis, what have you guys got? Mm -hmm. um, Shepard and Shepard were, were struggling, I think, from a, a – a perspective of what they had done in the pre-fishing right, period. Right, right. Um, Big T told me he had to slow down, he had to downsize, and he actually went to a 16th ounce jig using a nibble, yep. uh, a crappie nibble, which is just basically a, a, an artificial attractant. Mm -hmm. And his brother Mike sitting beside him was using, you know, one pole with a minnow on Men it. on it. Um, they had spent six hours yesterday side scanning certain stumps and hedge trees and little tops and brush piles all in a small area we did see him catch one big fish and you know hey yes it's, it's we're we're kind of his good luck charm if you will everywhere yeah. we've been yeah he's caught him <laughs> he said pull back over here pull back over here yeah. yeah yeah now here's the one that blows me away charlie and kevin rogers probably two of the finest fishermen that have ever put a boat on the truman reservoir right won a ton of tournaments um one line, one pole fisherman extraordinaire. Absolutely. But what were they doing? They were spider rigging. Spider rigging. I said before, I said last night, this tournament will be won spider rigging or a hybrid combination of seven poles out the front and one person dipping trees, jigging mm -hmm. trees in a combination of spider rigging. Mm. And we pulled over next to them. They were struggling early, but they right. had about four and a half, right. five hours left to fish and had yeah. about seven and a half, eight pounds yeah. in the boat. They already had a limit in the boat. Yeah, I mean. yeah. He, so Charlie, you know, Charlie's lost his last year's Easter egg when it comes to trolling, but they've got really, they really have become competitive and they've right. become good at it right. over the last right. couple, three right. years because they've had to. Mm -hmm. All the places, you know, that they're going to fish nationally mm -hmm. now, it, it's not a one-pole paradise. But Charlie's, you know, Charlie said, hey, I know the stumps are right here. I just can't see them. Exactly. So that Kevin was doing a good job keeping the boat under control, um, moving it methodically through that cover, just hoping that you know that live bait was going to present itself around one of sure. those stumps. Sure. And we saw them catch I don't know three or four fish at three least. Four, yeah, exactly. They caught three or four on over there. I think you know earlier in the week the fish ran to that cover, stuck their nose in that cover, and you know stayed there. And as the, today, the weather got better. We had a little bit of ripple on the water. It broke that sunlight up a little bit, and those fish started moving out a little bit. I think that's a big key point. I think that, you know, during the pre-fishing period, it was pretty much bluebird skies, and the sun was out. Sure. When it's sunny outside, I'm telling you, these, these fish at Truman Lake, they'll nose right up against a piece of cover, yeah. and they will set right there. Exactly. This morning, I think Kevin even made mention to me in one small comment that, hey, we started jigging this morning. And it wasn't working out because it was cloudy. Well, it goes to show anybody watching at home, if it's a cloudy condition day here on Truman Lake, you know, the fishing's usually not near as good as what it is when you got those bluebird skies if you're jig right, fishing. Right. So it's fun to watch them and it's fun to see them adapt because it's all adapting to the conditions. Adaptability is certainly the key in boat control. 
you know, the, every team we looked at had such great boat control. You know, some of them were going into the wind, and they had their had their power pole down with the paddles down to slow their drift down. Some of them were turned around going in, uh, into the wind and with the uh, end of the wind, right. and they were using their trolling motor. I mean, Caps was running his trolling motor with his hand, and he was continuously move that dial back and forth, move that dial back and forth, and he never took his hand off that trolling motor. That's exactly right. You know, when you talk about control, the last team that we stopped on was Jesse Shoemake and Kevin Reller. Sure. We watched those guys. They were catching. Uh, with, we saw them catch a nice fish right before we left them. Right. And it was 100% boat control because they were moving at such a slow, creeping pace. Sure. And they had their power poles down. They were using their, utilizing their drift paddles. Mm -hmm. And he said, hey, right here, right in this inlet right here, we're going to catch us a fish. I said, okay, well, we sat there and we watched him, and sure enough, he called his shot. Yeah. He called it, and I guarantee you, you know, it was a pound and a quarter yeah. plus fish, exactly. which was a huge help to them at that point because they still had four we hours. We pulled ahead of them, put our poles down where we wouldn't be moving, and they pulled right up there, and he caught the fish right where he said he would. You know, Sam, when we opened the TV show this morning, you remember what I said? I said, you know, it's a 50-50 shot. The last couple, three years, the grand side's been the, the winner. Sure. The Osage side's been kind of off in the last couple, three years. You usually don't catch as many fish over there, but what you catch is usually good fish. Mm -hmm. But I did say that I thought a lot of teams were going to run to that Osage side, and I think that they did. But I have got one report that one or two teams that have been over here on the grand side. Right could take the well the, you know one of the teams that we talked to said he felt like in practice the fish had been bigger over here on the grand side than they wasn't than they were on the osage side but they were fishing on the osage side right and that was because of water clarity and and, and on one of the days um that was charlie rogers charlie fish right. charlie right. as good as he is on truman lake fished all day long on the grand side mm. never got a bite Mm. That was on Monday. That was when things really turned upside down. But as things have stabilized, I said when we opened the TV show this morning, I told, you know, Sam and I did a, a small open, and I said, you know what? I've got this hunch that all the teams that are running to the Osage side have either overlooked or haven't thought that things have stabilized over here, and these fish may turn on mm -hmm. today on the grand side, mm -hmm. and I think you're probably going to see that. You know, I, and, and I agree with you 100%, but I'm going to make the prediction right now that it's going to take over 20 pounds to win this thing. I don't know. That may be strong. That's probably a strong, a strong, uh, strong If you're going to be a bear, be a grizzly bear. <laughs> I guess. Uh, I guess. I'm going to tell you, I think it's a strong number. I think it's probably going to take 19 and a quarter, 19 and a half. Um, there's been very few times that I've ever seen that it, you know, that it hasn't, especially with the caliber of fishing, fishermen. You know, Cox and Hockett are fishing. They've won a lot of tournaments on this, on this lake. And, you know, they typically like to fish that Osage arm. They could be a surprise. You know, they're not a sleeper by any means, but it could be a surprise. I haven't seen, you know, where they were at. I haven't heard anything. But 19 and a quarter, 19 and a half is probably what it's going to take. But I'm not going to back off from the fact that I think it's going to be a combination of spider rigging and jig fishing. I'm still going to bet on the red. I'm betting on 20. Yeah. <laughs> You hey, know, while we're do, while we're sitting here talking, let's talk a little bit about the B and M points race. Well, it's tight. You know, we've got um, Caps and Coleman winning. We've got Tim Blackley, Jackie Van Cleve. They're nine points back. We've got uh, Kent Watson, Matthew Outlaw, twenty-two points back. And then you know, you go on down the list. They're bunched up pretty tight. That could turn upside down in a heartbeat here and at Lake of the Ozarks. And, you know, and we've done something, or you've done something that's unheard of. Our championship is going to count in the team of the year. Yeah, you know, I, I come up with this, this theory and, and ran it by a bunch of fishermen, and they really love the concept. I've never understood, you know, per se, why we go through a regular season of NFL football, we get to the playoffs, we go to the Super Bowl, but it don't count. It don't count. So if we're going to put a boat up for grabs, Plus a whole lot of cash, some power whole, poles. And some more boats. <laughs> entry fees for 2018. Then I believe the championship needs to count. The Super Bowl needs to count. 
and it's not over till the what they say the till the lady sings uh, the lady si <laughs> the lady sings right and that's coming up in october yeah so that's that's right around the corner and it's you know literally an hour hour and 20 minutes from here that's going to be strong it's funny how these two lakes fish similar but completely opposite it as well you've got a lot of black crappie over at lake of the ozarks um, there's going to be a lot of dock shooting there's going to be a lot of guys trolling you know we're taking the top 100 teams to the championship and it's going to be exciting yeah, I can't wait to just to get a, a, another look at Lake of the Ozarks because, like you said, that's another place where it's going to be a, you know, a, 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 for anybody's game right. where it's going to be dock shooters, one-liners, trollers, pushers, and it's going to be so exciting, and it's such a nice place to fish. It is, um, you know, there's so many, so many different techniques, and when I picked Lake of the Ozarks, I handpicked each one of these lakes. And I picked them from, the, from a perspective of number of fish, um, basically the, the healthy fish, basically the, the places that have got awesome, prolific fisheries. Right. Can support it, the tournament trail. Can support it, but conservation. I said if I was going to start a trail, American Crappie Trail come into, into thought, I said if we're going to do this, conservation and sportsmanship have got to be number one and two. Exactly. And from the conservation standpoint, right over here to our left, as people come off the stage, we've got a live release boat with oxygen in the water. Uh, it's cooled down. As soon as we're done fish, you know, weighing these fish, we're going to take that boat, we're going to put it in the water, we're going to take it out, and, and it's a bottom drop through. So every one of those fish are going back into the water to be caught another day. Exactly. We don't want to deplete anybody's fishery. You know, in the past, some of the turnip trails have not had a very, have not had very much success releasing fish that have been caught. Well, we've gone out of our way to acquire and to build and engineer this live release boat. That way, we know that we're putting back the fish in the environment. Yeah, and that's a, that's a huge thing. I think from a, you know, if anything, it's the hardest thing in the world for me to have ever walked away from fishing. You know, I was competitive. Um, anywhere I went, I felt like I had a chance to win. And it was a really, really, really tough decision for me. I know that. And when <laughs> you see me, uh, you see, I see me every, you every morning. morning. Yeah, <laughs> every morning when we do live well checks, you see me and my face is about sick, I'm sure. At the same token, though, here's the deal. When I look at it, I think I can give back more to this sport by changing some of the conservation habits, by changing the outlook of crappie fishing. You know, giving everything back to the anglers, making some superstars in the crappie fishing world is what we need. Doing TV like we're doing it, showing a lot of tips and techniques, showing the, the way that these guys compete, their thought process, the rationale, the, the the things that, that go into actually tournament fishing, we're going to televise that next year, first and second quarter, to 60 million households. That's fantastic. And, you know, I'm, I'm all about that, too. You know, Matt, when you first came to me and said you wanted me to be a part of it, I was flattered. And I was really enthusiastic about bringing some of the people in crappie fishing and bringing some of the techniques in crappie fishing to the limelight. Yeah, You know, because we kind of, crappie fishing for a long time was like riding a moped motorcycle. You know, it was a lot of fun, but you didn't want your buddies to see you doing it. <laughs> but uh, it, it has changed. And, you know, we've got some guys out there that I'll put up against anybody, man, anywhere on any lake with their electronics and boat control. So I think you've already accomplished part of that dream. Yeah. And uh, we're going to keep working hard, and we're going to continue to bring these guys to what they deserve yeah you know the the sky's the limit the popularity obviously of crappie fishing it's growing and growing sam you know i'm getting something here we've got we've got a lot of teams weighed up lined up here in the tanks oh yeah let's uh let's cut this short truman lake live way in. in it's coming up stay tuned we'll be right back i've got some competition dog fight dog fight You know, I've never really had an office job. Ooh, <laughs> morning, Skate. Morning, Edwin.
Go to TeamGTFishing.com to see more. You bought her many years ago, and she's been there for you every day since. It's because you've taken care of her, pampered her. Only the best will do. That's why you choose Lucas Oil Marine Products to protect her. Every day she starts, gets you there, and gets you back. Even after all these years, Lucas Oil Marine Products. Because it's no fun to walk back to shore from the middle of a lake. B&M Pulse is a family-owned business in its third generation of ownership and over 70 years of providing the most extensive line of crappie rods in the industry. We believe that sensitivity is the key to catching crappie and we've designed a rod for every technique based around this belief. Our products are field tested by the best fishermen in the country and used by the best guides because their clients can simply catch more crappie. So when you're choosing your next crappie pole, go with the brand that's won a dozen national championships and more regional events to count. Go with the brand I choose, B&M. We put the Rockport Rattler to a real test. Two champion anglers using four rods with the competition jigs against four rods using the Rockport Rattler. The result, the Rockport Rattler outfished the competition 10 to 1. Rockport Rattler, gray head. His patented rattling jig contains a rattling chamber in the body of the jig. The rattle is amplified by using water as a conductor. Rockport Rattler. Making fish hear it at much greater distances. Just like a dinner bell for fish. Look, if you don't have a Rockport Rattler, you ain't catching crappy. And we're here at 2017 American Crappie Trail right here at the Truman Reservoir on beautiful Truman Lake. I'm your MC today, James Bryant. Folks, welcome to Bucksaw Marina here at beautiful Truman Lake where we're going to find out in our final stop at the American Crappie Trail Tour who our champions are going to be. And we're in the middle of a tight, tight race for the Angler of the Year points. We'd like to thank our hosting sponsors, the Clint Clinton Chamber of Commerce and the Bucksaw Marina and Resort. And we'd also like to thank the Bucksaw Marina Resort for our, the hosting hotel and Hampton Inn and the Westbridge Inn and Suites. We're here at beautiful Bucksaw Marina. And our radio station is KDKD 95.3. Matt Morgan, your tournament director here at the American Crappie Trail. And today we're paying out 100% of the entry fees back to our anglers. And the first place prize is going to be a 2017 Ranger RT 188C with 115 horsepower Evinrude to the first place person. And I believe it's a total of about $58,000 payout overall for today. So, folks, exciting to see. But this couldn't happen without thanks from our sponsors. So let's take a break and thank Lucas Oil, Protect the Harvest, B&M Poles, Mid-State Seed, Martin Metal, General Tire, Ranger Boats, Evan Root Outboards, Lawrence. Super Clean, Gator Guards, Power Pole, The Original Rod Socks, Bug Band, Crappie Now Magazine, Mid South Tackle, Valley Fashions, Rockport Rattler, Road Runner Lures, American Angler, Driftmaster, Bobby Garland Crappie Baits, Grizzly Jig Company, and Charlie Brewer Sliders. Folks, we have a lot of local sponsors like to thank too, but you know what? Let's weigh some fish right now. Let's bring up our first team today, boat number 42, the team of Bill Rambo and Eva Rambo. How are you guys doing today? Well, we caught a few. Caught a few. Caught a few. They're not very big. Good day one start for you, 693. 693. See what happens tomorrow, right? You bet. Phil, good to see you again. Thanks so much for fishing with us. Eva? Thanks. Good luck tomorrow. And there we go. We're starting out our day on a bang, seven fish limit. Coming up next, we have boat te team number six, Troy Bohannon and Ed Bohannon. They have a seven fish limit today. I think I even checked your fish, didn't I? Oh, yeah. Yep. Good fish oh, today. We struggled today big time. That's why it's a two-day tournament, not a one-day. I hope so. You'll make some adjustments for tomorrow. 676, not a bad start for your day one. Good luck to you guys tomorrow, okay? All right. Thanks Thank for fishing you. with us. You want your, here's your waist slip. There you go, guys. We take it. All right. I just have to say this out. We have three weighed in. We had one earlier. Our current leader right now is 789, the team of Scott and Wharton. So 789 to start out our day. Coming up next, we have boat number 43, team of Jim Reedy and Barb Reedy. Another seven fish limit today on day one here at Truman Lake. 
These guys are no strangers to Truman Lake, are you? No, we've been here several times. Great, nice place. Very, very good facility. Uh, great fishery. Uh, it's just great. Well, if you get the perfect weight award, you get it today. Seven, Seven. pounds on the money. That'd be a one-pound average. I can even do that on my own math, right? Well, we tried. That's right. Guys, good to see you. Good luck tomorrow. Good day one start. Thanks, Barb. Thank you. We're getting ready to go here. Team number 59, we have Jason Westerberg and Jim Westerberg. Rockport Rattler team. Guys, how you doing today? Doing good, doing good. Getting on the board for day one here? Yes, sir. And a good day one start for you? Good start. 731, put you right there in second place overall right now. I know it's early, but yep. obviously you probably used some Rockport Rattlers today, didn't you? Oh, yeah. Yeah, we can talk about that tomorrow too, but great day one start, guys. Congratulations, good day one. We'll see you tomorrow, okay? Thank you, Jim. Appreciate it. All right, coming up next, we have Mid-State Seed-sponsored team, team number nine, Travis Bullock and Philip Haynes. Mr. Haynes, got a crowd out there today. How are you? Hot. Look at there. There's a solid, good, good day one start. Nine pounds on the money. How was it out there? A lot of fish are being caught. We, I caught more fish today on Truman than I've ever had in my entire life. Just can't catch any great big ones. Well, you know, I know you spent a lot of time on Truman Lake, and you've had your ups and downs, so it's probably a, a big sigh of relief for you to have a nine-pound day. Yeah, that's a real good start. Good start. Come back tomorrow and see if we can't catch them again. All right, got more for tomorrow? Mm, I don't know about this end of the lake. All righty. <laughs> Guys, great day one start. Thanks for fishing with us. We'll see you tomorrow. Thanks, Travis. All right, coming up next, we have team number 36, Jason Meacham and Matthew Rogers. Let's see a mid-safe tackle and Bobby Garland shirt back there, guys. How was it today? Oh, it was a good bite. You're right on the board today, too. Good day one start for you. 844. That's all right today, right? Yeah, I'll take that. First time fishing, wasn't it? Uh, the ACT, yes. The ACT, yes, yep. sir, it was. You having a good time so far? Yeah. All right. Yeah, smoothly ran operation. Right on. What'd you catch them on today? I ah. just <laughs> had to check. All right, we'll see you guys tomorrow. Congratulations on your day one, okay? Here's your weigh-in ticket, guys. Doesn't want his weight ticket. All right, coming up next, team number 18, Steve Dana and Terry Morris. B&M sponsored team. Guys, how you doing? Good. It says good. Seven fish limit today. It was tough. A lot of small fish. You know, I've noticed that all you pro across, we're on the, I tell you, we've had five, six, and seven today. Five pounds on the money. Good okay. day, one start. Oh, okay. You know, it's why they call it a two-dayer. That's right. So any adjustments you're going to make, you're just going to go out and grind it out again. We're going to go right back to them. They're there. They just, we just couldn't get them today. Couldn't, we're couldn't going right back to the same spots we had. There we go. Yeah. Well, we're excited to see what you guys bring tomorrow. Guys, thanks for fishing with us. Thank you. All right, Jamie. See you later. All right, coming up next, team number 51, team of Terry Stewart and Cole Stewart. Another seven fish limit. Looks like there were some fish being caught out there today, huh? A little bit. A little bit. A little bit. <laughs> Maybe for the other people. Uh. You're right in the hunt. I think 648 for your day one start. Anything different for tomorrow? I, if he's got something different. You got something? Uh, hopefully something different. We got to do something different. But uh, hey, we'll just get out there and try it, man. We're going to find out. There yes, you go, sir. guys. Appreciate right, you fishing. Thank Great thank day you one guys. start. Here's, right, your, there's your ticket. <laughs> thank you. All right, coming up next, Lucas team sponsored. Boat number 57, Kent Watson and Matthew Outlaw. Or as the, as the local traveling group calls you, Digger and Matthew. Yeah. Now, here's a solid string, folks. 1030. You're stepping up way above it so far. What's going through your mind right now? Uh, that's a lot more better than I thought we could do. <laughs> you know, I think every tournament we've stopped at, you've said, it's all a lot better than I thought we were going to yeah. do. But, hey. hey. We weighed two fish on um, at Grenada on day one, four at Sardis. It's pretty good day one for us. Heck, yeah. And you know what? I listened to the pregame show before. They thought maybe 19 and a half, 20 pounds might take it. I got a feeling we might be talking to you guys later. So great, great day one start. Congratulations. 10.30, folks. You want to weigh a big, big fish. fish. Okay. The boss said, I have to if you say so. Let's hold that up for the crowd to see, too, when you get her out there. Mm. There we go. Nice fish. Let's put him in there and see. What do you think it's going to do, Digger? I'm better than that. 191. That's a great fish. Solid day one. Once again, 1030, guys. Great day one. I'm sure we'll be seeing you later when we talk to Tim. Right, Thanks, Kent. Man. Appreciate it, guys. 
Okay, coming up next, we have boat number 56. Had a little bit of boat trouble this afternoon. Michael Washington and Jackie Washington. Washington. Came all the way from Florida, yes, correct? Did. Yes, I did. All the Long way. Long trip, 18-hour drive. Not bad for your day one start. <laughs> 584, you get the long distance award. We had a little bit of discussion earlier. You know, you serve our country, you're in the military, and uh, you wanted to fish the events, and you got a chance to get some time off and come do it. Man, we're really excited you came down for ACT at Truman. I'm honored, and uh, this won't be the last time you see me. <laughs> Great. Uh, I hope they get you fixed pretty quick, and hope we see you on the water tomorrow. Right. Thank you so much, guys. Are you guys brothers? Yes, we are. Washington, Washington, not right. just a co coincidence, right? Who's the older brother? So you're the smarter one? <laughs> I wouldn't say that. Ah, we're going to talk to you tomorrow. <laughs> Thanks. <laughs> Thanks, guys. Here's your weigh-in ticket. Jackie, here you go. Here's your weigh slip. Thank you. A lot of fun, guys. All right. Coming up next, we're seeing a lot of seven fish limit. Team number 24, Rick Fage and Ernie Cox got another seven fish limit. Good one? No. Man, it's not no, bad. 857, you're right in the hunt on day one. Yeah, we'll that's, take it. That's all we can do. We're going to see <laughs> you drive through tomorrow and see what we add to it, all right? All right. <laughs> Thank you, guys. Appreciate it. There you go. Thank you. Thank you. Moving on. Got a previous winner here. I think he was our inaugural winner at Grenada Lake, team number three, Ron Bilbrey and Thomas Hankins. Hey. What's going on? Get over here. Right. Seven fish today. How was your experience out there? Great day. Are we actually fishing a tournament today? I know. Uh, it's beautiful. I, I think this is the second ACT that we've had where the sun came out and you didn't get rained on too bad. Yes. Perfect day of fishing. 880. Great day one start for you. Hey, we'll take it. We'll That's take all. it. You don't have a choice at this point. I already called That's it. Right. That's, That's right. That's right. <laughs> <laughs> well, guys, we'll see you again tomorrow. Great day one start. Thanks, Thanks. for fishing with us. See you, Ron. Appreciate it. Oh, I will. You want to give them away so I'll get, I know. Thank you. All right, coming up next, he was uh, the last lake we were at at Sardis, Mississippi. He came from behind and absolutely showed these guys how to fish. Team number 40, Whitey Outlaw, B&M sponsor, General Tire, and a pretty darn nice guy. Nah, how is it, Whitey? Oh, it's all right. 833, good day yeah, one start. It wasn't bad for one man. It wasn't bad that, for I one know. man. Yeah, you've done it before and you do it again. You're yeah. no stranger to Truman either. No, no. You've been I, here plenty I, of times. Yeah, I like it up here. There's a lot of fish on it, you know. And I, I probably was on the wrong arm, like natural. I always make the wrong move. And then this morning, and the rope broke on the boat when I backed it in, so I had to dive off the dock and swim about 40 yards to get the boat. But no we, big deal. It started out good. We all saw you. We just <laughs> no, didn't want to help you. You didn't see me. <laughs> I know we didn't see you. nobody me, brother. 8.33, great day one start, Whitey. Thanks for fishing with us. We'll see you tomorrow. All right, coming up next, we've got a team of locals, boat number seven, Kent Braun, Buster Braun, father-son duo. How you doing today? Good. Got a good seven today? I don't know. We're about to find out. Not you're too gonna, bad. You're going to be right in the hunt of things, aren't you? Yeah. 8.50 for your day one start. We appreciate you fishing with us. We're going to see you again tomorrow. Yep. Here's your weigh-in ticket. Good to see you guys. Thanks so much. All right, moving on here, we've got team number 44 with another seven fish limit. Charlie Rogers and Kevin Rogers. And I believe these guys are always a threat when they come to Truman Lake. Kevin, how is it today? Love this lake. Love it. Good fishing, beautiful weather. Can't yep. beat it. You're walking right up in the second spot right now. 971. Awesome. Great day one start. Great day. Now, you know, I got to say, I've, I used to fish back on this lake a few times, fish a few tournaments, and I was that guy that made the donations at the very bottom. Sure. Seen you guys float around this lake quite a bit. Notorious for one pulling. One pulling and didn't do it today. And you didn't, I, so I was just going to say, I didn't want to ask technique, but did you one pull today or did we you rig? We had two of our fish came one pulling, five come spider rigging. A lake came up high, a lot of trees under the water you can't see. Spider rigging will win the tournament. Well, we're going to break it down to the top 10 here at the end of the day. Hope we get to see you there. Thank you. Appreciate it, guys. Thank you, Mr. Rogers. You bet. Oh, here's Wayne. Charlie, here you go. Thank you. All right, we're shaping her up here. 1030 taking the lead. Kent Watson and Matt Outlaw, followed by Rogers and Rogers with 971. We're going to bring up team number 13 right now with another seven fish limit. Brad Calhoun and Larry Holmes. <clears throat> Got another good seven fish, it looks like. Uh, I don't know. It's, we have to see. You're right in the hunt of things, too. Boy, I'm, these are strings are a lot better than what, I, what we were talking about earlier. Yeah, 947, good. that puts you in third place right now. I know it's really early, but great great first day one start for you regardless. Well, we're going to our number one hole tomorrow. Well, if this is number two, I can't <laughs> wait to see what you guys bring tomorrow. <laughs> Thanks for fishing with us. We appreciate it, guys. We'll see you tomorrow. All right, coming up next, he is a Truman Lake local, and he's a legend in the sport. 
Let's bring up Paul Alpers and Clint Hibbon. I say just a legend or a legend in the sport? Just a legend. All right. Got a good seven today? Pretty good. And you do. You're going to be right behind the things too today. 10.06 puts you in second place right now, right behind uh, Kent Watson and Matt Law. You're no stranger to Truman. No, no, but it's been a tough, tough free fish. Uh, the fish are real scattered, and uh, we lucked out and found one little spot and caught five away fish in one spot. Right I mean, on. we fished there and knew they were there, but had to fish for about 40 minutes. But we went way up river first and went into our hole, caught one fish in about two hours. We loaded up and moved. Very good. Well, so, the first thing you said when you came up on the stage was, I, I, I want to weigh a big fish. fish. So let's take care of that for you right now. It's nice to see the old guy excited, isn't it? Yeah. Did you, was he been excited like this all day, Clint? There you go. Big fish right now is only 191. You're going to blow that right out of the water. 218. Big fish right now. Martin Mills' team of Clint Ibden and Paul Alpers. Guys, great day one start for you. Thank you. Hopefully we'll be talking to you guys later, all right? Good to see you. All right, guys, these weights are coming in good, and it's going to be exciting. And at the end of this tournament, just a reminder, we're going to be announcing the top ten for a day two shootout for the Truman Lake Championship. All right now, let's bring up team number 37, Brad Meyer and Dave Fouts. They have another seven fish limit. How are you guys doing today? Doing all right. Doing all right. Good seven? It's a good day one start for you. 8.03 is your day one start. We'll and take it. That's all, yeah, that's all you can do, right? Yeah, yeah. We'll hopefully do better tomorrow. Yep. Heck yeah. Right now, I put you in about 11th spot. Hope it sticks for you good. Thanks, guys. Appreciate you. Good luck on day two. Thank you. Well, these guys are all excited. They had a day with some good sunshine and no rain or snow, so pumped up. Team number 48 is coming up with another seven fish limit. Tony Shepard and Mike Shepard. Always seen you guys up at the top. Good to see you again. Tony, how are you doing? Uh, pretty good. Not a good day, but we, we're doing all right. You know what? These two-day tournaments always turn around. 7-17 for your day one start. My microphone's not wanting to work. Right in the hunt of things, good for day two. Yeah, that's a new lake for us. We got here Monday, the first time we ever fished it, and we're, we're happy to have the fish we got. Yeah, well, you're going to be going against some of these locals, 7-17. There's nothing to be ashamed of that. Yeah. So we're going to see you tomorrow, okay? All right. Thanks so much. Appreciate it. Here's your weight slip. Thank you, guys. Good to see you. All right, I've been excited to see these guys today. I've talked to them quite a bit. Team number five, Tim Blackley and Jackie Van Cleave. Do what? Nobody's hollering. Nobody's hollering. Now, hold on, everybody. Check this out. 10, 29, 1, 100 underneath the leaders right now. But, hey, yep, you got to show it. Because you guys know, we've talked about this, this points race for end of the year, not only, I mean, geez, look at this, you're at Truman Lake, you guys, first time here, right? Well, we fished here one, one other tournament uh, eight <laughs> years ago. <laughs> hey, give me some. That's a good one. Go ahead, I'm sorry. Yeah, it was, it's been uh, eight years since we fished a tournament here. We, uh, we fished a championship here and ended up uh, third or fourth place then. So it fishes a lot like our home lake at Real Foot. You know, Real Foot's full of stumps. And this, this lake's full of stumps and trees, so it fishes a lot like our home lake, and uh, we feel comfortable here most of the time, so yep. enjoy it. Well, once again, guys, it looks like we're going to see a shootout tomorrow. Yeah, it's going to be close. Uh, this, this lake is so great. Uh, I mean, you, you hear numbers of fish being caught, but no, no exaggeration. He and I probably caught 150 fish today. That's we, awesome. We fished up a lot of minnows, a lot of jigs, and... It, it was an exciting day. You got a big one to weigh? Yeah. Want to weigh a big one? Okay. Pick that big one out. Jack. Here you go. He's going to make you do the dirty work. I think I caught this fish. <laughs> Why don't you pick it, hold them both up there for everybody to see there. Look at that, guys. Nice fish. <laughs> right. <laughs> right. He says on the right. 218 is the big fish. Going to be a hair shy. 195, but a great, great day one start for you guys. Real close. We're going to head over to the release boat. Here's your weigh-in ticket. Thank Tim, Jackie, you, man. good to see you guys. Congratulations. We're going to be talking to you guys later, too. That's three 10-pound strings starting out already today, and we're just getting started. Let's go back to another seven-inch limit for team number 63, Brad Woody and Duke Montgomery. <laughs> How you guys doing today? Pretty good. A lot of fish being caught in there. Oh, yeah, we yeah. caught a lot of 
I did tell you you get my favorite hat award, right? Yeah, there you go. All right. 802, great day one start for you. You're right in the hunt of things. This is the and first time we've ever fished this lake, so I'm happy with that. Tomorrow's well, another day. Welcome to Truman Lake. You made it out there. It's a pretty neat, neat little uh, interesting nice lake, lake, isn't it? It's a nice yep. lake. Right on. 802, we'll see you guys tomorrow. Appreciate it. Good to see you guys again. There you go. All right, coming up next, team number 27, another seven fish limit for Scott Floyd and Ralph Ennis. Scott, how you doing? Good, how are you? I'm good. Saw you this morning. Yes, you did. 6.56, good day one start for you. Got more for tomorrow? Uh, yeah, they, <laughs> hopefully I can do a little better tomorrow. You will. Appreciate it, guys. We'll see you tomorrow. <laughs> all right, coming up next, team number 11. I might as well say they all have seven fish limits, but it's another seven fish limit for Bill Burnett and Jeff Ward. What do you say, Bill? Yeah, it was a little tough, but we, we made a little mistake this morning, but we're going to correct it tomorrow. Well, the important thing is getting on the board on day one. We'll be all right. And that's nothing wrong with that at all. 6-10 for your day one start. Bill, as always, great to see you. We'll see you tomorrow. Thank you, sir. All right. Coming up next, team number 32, James Lastwell, Nate Noblet. Man, Nate's walking with the swagger. He's all happy today. Are you just tired? Tired. All right. Did he beat you up today? Yeah, a little bit, a little bit. <laughs> Like we are just talking about, though, getting day one out of the way to work on tomorrow is what the important part is. 609, Man. good day one start for you. Yeah, Do you guys have some adjustments? You're going to grind it out again. Yeah, grind well, it out. We lost some big fish today. We lost you, some big fish. So. That's why you're walking back up here slow. Yeah. yeah. Net man. Was, net it, man. was it net man's yeah, fault? I was the net man. All right. <laughs> well, we, won't, we won't start any arguments up here, guys. I know you'll fix it tomorrow. Right. Thanks, Thanks for fishing with us. We'll see you tomorrow. You bet. All right, coming up next, team number 29 with the seven fish limit, T uh, Bart Gillen and Wade Mansfield. Bart's excited, got him to run going. Feels pretty good. How was it? Well, this is the first time I've been on this lake, and uh, well, we, did, we didn't catch the numbers a lot of anglers are reporting, but uh, uh, we, we, we hit on a little something. We caught all our fish uh, by 1 o'clock, and the wind picked up on us, and, and, and our fish shut down. So... Well, 808 for your day one starts. Great position from day one. I think, Wade, you fished this lake before, haven't you? Yeah. Yep, so you know what adjustments you need to make to get yeah, up there tomorrow. Yeah, most, most definitely. We, <laughs> we need to make one. For sure. Very good. Well, we appreciate it. Here's your bag back, and there's your weigh-in ticket. And we're going to see you guys tomorrow. Thank you, guys. Appreciate it. Coming up next, team number 22, the team of Mark Englehart and Aaron Englehart. All right, father, son, or brothers? All right. Great string today. It's pretty, pretty decent day, yeah. Heck yeah. Me right up there in the hunt. They calm nice. down. 977. That's going to put you right about fifth place, I believe, or fourth place. That's not a bad day for day one, is it? No, we'll probably do a little bit more single polling tomorrow. We started to spend too much time spider rigging today. Did you? Yeah. So you figured it out late and going to make some adjustments to do better tomorrow? I hope so. <laughs> if you do, we're going to be talking to you quite a bit. Yeah. <laughs> Guys, great day one. We're going to see you guys tomorrow. Here's your way and ticket. Thank Good you. job. Yep. Coming up next, we have team number 23, seven fish limit for Tyler Englehart and Cole Kuhl. Kuhl or cool? Keel. Keel. This feels like a good string, or I'm getting tired. Which not, is it? It's not too bad. It is a very good string today. 9.30, put you right up in the hunt of things. You got more for tomorrow? I hope so. <laughs> We're going to find out, right? Great day one start, guys. Thank Congratulations. You. Here's your waiting ticket. We'll see you tomorrow. Thanks. All right, coming up next, seven fish limit for team number 45, Kyle Schoner. Schoner, Schoner, right? Shaner. Good to see you again, Kyle. Sorry. I'll butcher it every single time. Great day one for you guys, though. Even if I can't pronounce your name every single time. <laughs> No, it was a good day. We had a good time. We had limited pre-fishing time and just started rolling through spots we fished for years and, and uh, had a good time. Well, if it was a fish. slot machine, you'd be doing pretty good. 888, yeah. 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 right in the hunt, good position for day two. Yep. Anything more for tomorrow? Uh, we're just, just going gonna to gonna grind keep, it out yeah, again? Keep grinding, and uh, like I said, we've fished a lot of tournaments here over the years. So You guys one uh, pulling or are you rigging? We're, we're men are rigging. A little both. A little, little bit of both. both. Yeah, I'm kind of hearing yeah. that. So yeah. and we'll, well, I'm sure we'll get more information tomorrow, but... Great day one. I'm sure we'll be talking to you again. All right, Thanks, Kyle. Thank Appreciate it. Yep.
Coming up next, we have team number 41, Daniel Pemberton and Justin Newman, seven fish limit. How are you guys doing today? Good, you? I'm doing great. We're weighing fish on Truman Lake. Yeah, that's good. And good fish this time. Pretty good ones. And nobody frowning too bad. 896 for your day one. Boy, it's going to shape up to be a pretty tight race today, isn't it? It is, it is. Right on. Great day one. We're going to talk to you guys tomorrow. Good luck. Thank you. Thanks so much. Appreciate it. We're scooting right through this day one here at Truman Lake, here at Bucksaw Marina, and here at the close, we will announce our top ten. Speaking of top ten, we've got some guys here that are locals, been doing some really good job out there on the tour. Team number 21, Tony Egger and Travis Lepley. They have a seven fish limit today. Just came off a really good string at Sardis Lake. Get up here, guys. How you doing? Good, good. How was it for you out there? Tough, tough. Oh, it wasn't that tough. 861, you're right in the hunt of things for day one. Tony? Tough day. We lost three good fish today, so. Hey, you guys. Can't win with this group doing that, so. I don't know. You know that day two, it always happens to anybody else. If you lost some fish, leaders can lose fish tomorrow, and you're right back there, so you just never know. We're going to go give it a shot. There you go. I think it's a very respectable weight. You're right in the hunt of things. I'm sure we're going to see you tomorrow. Thanks, Tony. All right, coming up next, another seven fish limit for Team 28, Eddie Gilbert and Don Brooks. Just a reminder, our current leader right now is 1030, Kent Watson and Matt Outlaw. And he said, I didn't mean to rub that in. He says you got about half that. I don't think so. We're going to see here. I think it's better than you thought. 769. You're not at the bottom and you're not at the top, but you're right in the hunt for tomorrow. Uh, about where we normally are. <laughs> Did you? I know we can't talk about fishing on the first of day one, but you used mid-south tackle today, didn't you? Some. All right. On uh, we was double mental rigging with some color on it. So. All right. Well, we're going to talk about that again more tomorrow then. Yeah. All right. You got some. You got some thinking to do and places to go for tomorrow. Thanks, Good job. Thanks, guys. We'll see you tomorrow. Here's your weighing ticket, sir. There you go. Thank you. Coming up next, seven fish limit for my man Chris Bouchard and Jay Burris. Don't you go slipping now when you get all jogging up there. Son, I'm like a gazelle. Like a gazelle. Yes, sir. Great Ooh. day for you, 8-12. Thank you, I appreciate it. You were not pulling crankbaits today, were you? Man, yeah, all day long, don't You're, you know it? You are <laughs> no. lying, lying. No, I was rigging. Right on. Yep, sure You're right in the hunt of things for day one. So. I sure do appreciate it. My no, we appreciate finish, it. At least I got seven. There you go. We're going to see you tomorrow because you can have another seven, aren't you? Yes, sir. I Thank you, Chris. Good to see you, buddy. And we're gearing up again. There's still plenty of fishermen coming in. A lot of great fish being caught here. We've got a local here, team number 38, Barry Morrow and Chad Maupin. Hey, Barry, get on up here. Let's weigh some fish. <laughs> How you guys doing? All right. Good sack today? Ah, uh, not too good. Oh, you're right in the hunt of things for tomorrow, for sure. Happy fish today. 979. That puts you in third place right now. Oh, that's good. Yeah, that's that wasn't so good. bad. See, he says it wasn't that good, but it's all right, wasn't it, Barry? Yeah, we'll take that. Absolutely. Now, tomorrow you're going to grind it out and do the same thing, or do you have uh, got some tricks up the sleeve for day two? We're going to grind it out and then pull out the tricks. We'll just right. kind of see what happens in the middle of the day. We, we change off and on. I'm excited <laughs> to talk about it tomorrow. Oh. Barry, appreciate you guys fishing with us. Good job. Great day one for you. All right, coming up next, your current Angler of the Year points leaders have a seven fish limit. Boat number 16, Ronnie Cap, Steve Coleman. Get up here, brother. There it is, man. He says, there it is. And is it? Well, we'll see. Oh, heck yeah. Look at this. 1057, you took right into the first place. You know, we've seen Watson and Blackley, the top of you three guys, all in that points chase, and you guys are, are not leaving anything out there to. You know what, we're, uh, we're here, and without a doubt, we laid it on the table for this tournament, free fishing. Um, we've got it down pat. I look forward to tomorrow, but I tell you what, we're fishing against the best people in the world, so that I've already won today's. I don't care if I'm second, third, or fourth. I've, you know, I've done, I've done a great job. I, we, we exceeded what we thought we could do, honestly. Well, you know, you said, it can, you said at Kentucky Lake, you guys came off and went at Kentucky Lake, and not forget this. You said, I'm having fun fishing again. We are. I tell you what, um, I can't tell you how many fish we put in the boat today. I got tired of looking at 13-inch fish. So um, 
this Truman's unbelievable, man. I mean, you know, for fishing and fishing fun. No, no monsters now. I, I hadn't caught one in eight days, nine days now. Yep. So, uh, well, you guys have aimed to please. We're going to have a definite shootout tomorrow. Outstanding <laughs> first day away, right. 1057. Congratulations, yeah. guys. You, wanna, you got a big fish you want to weigh? Did you want to no, weigh a big fish? Nope. No. Nope. He says there's not. It's 218. You want to check no, one? No, we don't have nope. One. He says he's not going to check it. All right. You want, hey, if anything else, why don't you just hold up a few for the crowd to see? All right. <laughs> he, I, talk, he talked himself into it. We're going to weigh one there. Lay one in there. All right. All right, twins. 179. 179, but a great fish there. Guys, congratulations on a great day one at Truman. We'll be talking to you guys later. Thank you very much, Steve. How about that, folks? We're shaping up for quite a shootout for day two. I can see it already. Right now, let's bring up team number 47 with another seven fish limit. Local anglers, John Shannon, Tracy Shannon. How you doing, John? Doing all right. Good to see you again. Yeah, we had a decent day. Could have been better, could have been worse. You know what? That's why they call them these two day tournaments, right? Uh, yeah. Add to it tomorrow. 863, you're right in the hunt of things for tomorrow. Okay. Got more for us? Uh, I can talk tomorrow. Going to pull out some Truman secrets? No, tomorrow. All right. Well, that's what we need to know. <laughs> John, appreciate it. Right through here. Thank you, sir. Here's your weigh-in ticket. Thanks, guys. See you tomorrow. Coming up next, boat number 52, Billy Don Surface and Craig Hansen with another seven fish limit. That's a good seven, guys. How you doing? No, no we got seven. You know, I always said you got to be proud of every seven you catch. That's right. There's guys out there that are watching online right now wishing they were in your spot. So yeah. great day one start for you. 8.30. Got more for tomorrow? I hope so. Well, we're going to find out, right? That's right. Great. Congratulations, guys. Thanks for fishing with us, and we'll see you tomorrow. Here's your waiting ticket. All right, coming up next, boat number 35, team of Brian McGee and Scott Renfer, seven fish limit. I think you were flying solo today, too, weren't you? Yes, sir. How was it out there doing it by yourself? Uh, uh, it was tough. Peaceful. Like always. Yeah, peaceful. Peaceful. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> 794, hey. Fishing by yourself on Truman Lake, seven, oh, yeah. 794, great day one for you. Caught a lot of fish, had a good time. Like I say, it, uh, it's a little more challenging when you're by yourself, but Absolutely. it's fun. Very good. But try harder tomorrow. One of our Martin Metal sponsored teams, thanks for fishing with us. I'm going to see you tomorrow, Brian. Thank you very much. There you go. All right, coming up next, one of our top ten finishers at the last Lake of Sardis, team number ten, Charlie Bunny and Travis Bunny, seven fish limit. What's going on, Travis? Heck, I don't know. Heck, I don't know. <laughs> I'm just glad the wind didn't blow. I know what you know. Look at this. You blew them right out. 1056, right there. One one hundredth underneath the lead, but right there in second place. Right in the hunt of those top five 10-pound strings. We'll take that. Heck, yeah. Well, you guys are no strangers to Truman. I've said that quite a bit, but did you leave some out there for tomorrow, or did you go all in today? No, we, uh, we actually didn't fish any place we planned on fishing the tournament yet, so... Hopefully there's fish there. <laughs> well, it's a good day, right, Charlie? Yeah, it's had a real good day. I bet you it was really nice that you had a net man this time. Yes, it was. That's right. Now, you Actually, already... I was a net man. He just wanted to catch him. <laughs> well, you're, you're qualified for the national championship, so today you're going for the boat, right? Yes. Very good. Great day one start for you guys. Congratulations. Thank you. We're going to see you tomorrow. There you go, Travis. Thanks, guys. Appreciate it. Coming up next, another seven fish limit. Boat number 26, Jim Fig and Todd Parson. How you guys doing? Did it get windy out there earlier? It did. A little bit. <laughs> kind of felt good, though. 721, great day one start for you. Got some more, some more for tomorrow? Oh, yeah, we got the work cut out for us. Good. <laughs> well, that's what it is, right? <laughs> that's what it is. No, I wish I was doing it. <laughs> Thanks, guys, for fishing with us. We'll see you tomorrow. All right, coming up next, seven fish limit. Always a threat on Truman Lake, team of David Cox and Steve Hockett. How you guys doing? How was Truman for you today? Good. Heck yeah, it was. You're going to step right up there. 1074, our new leaders. What's going through your mind right now, guys? First uh, time ACT, walked in there, made a statement. Yeah, we had a good wait today. Um, I don't know. We, we, tomorrow may be a struggle. Tomorrow may be a good day. I don't know. The bite that we had today wasn't what we thought we was going to catch our fish. So, you know, we just got to see what tomorrow brings. Well, they say this game is a game of adjustments, and it sounds like you made them on day one. So yeah, yeah, tomorrow we'll be exciting to see how this thing plays out, right? Absolutely. Absolutely. Anything you'd like to add, Steve? Oh, not really. <clears throat> we, we struggled for a while. We didn't catch tournament fish for the first two hours probably, and then we caught 
four and 30 minutes that we just weighed and then we struggled for a while and just pick one up here and there. It's kind of a hit and miss day for you. Yeah, I mean, we caught several fish, but every once in a while you get an old big one. There you go. Speaking of big ones, you got one you want to weigh? He wants to weigh a big fish, okay. Current leaders right now, 1057. Oh, I'm sorry, not 1074. And we're going to wait for a big fish here. 218 is our big fish right now. Boy, you know what's something whenever they're looking for these two pounders, they all look the same. That the one? All right. Right up there, 188, just a little short, but a great fish. Ladies and gentlemen, your new leader right now at 1074, Cox and Hockett. Congratulations, guys. We're going to see you later, I'm sure. Thank you, guys. Appreciate it. All right, coming up next, seven fish limit for team number 49, Jesse Shoemaker and Kevin Reller. Shoemaker. Seven fish for you today, Jesse. And a good day for you, 9-10. That's good. a good day one start for you. You guys got more for tomorrow? Well, we hope so. All right. Absolutely. Absolutely. Jesse, you got anything to add there? No. Just going to go grind it out again? Yep. Grind it. That's right. All righty. Guys, we appreciate you fishing with us. I'm going to see you tomorrow. Thank you. Stick around, folks. We're getting down to the rest of the anglers. There's still quite a few to weigh, but a top 10 will be announced at the conclusion of the weigh-in. And tomorrow we're going to shoot out to see our Truman Lake champions going to be. Right now, let's bring up team number four, team of Brent Billings and Brad Moore. Another seven fish limit. How are you guys doing today? Good. That breeze coming off that lake's kind of nice, isn't it's it? It's nice, real nice. Going to be right in the middle of things. Setting up good for day two, 790. Yep, hope so. <laughs> fish this lake before? Oh, yeah. All right, so you know what you need to do tomorrow then? Y yep. Very good. We appreciate you fishing with us again, guys, and we'll see you tomorrow, okay? Thank you. Thank you. Coming up next, seven fish limit for team number 19, Jim Dant and Don Zupal. You just skip that first step all the way, right? Yes, Go all sir. in and jump up there. This feels like good string today. Yeah, it's not too bad. Heck yeah, it is. Check this out. See, they're saying jump up there, 1091. Right now, you guys are in the lead. Bobby Garland sponsored base. Tell us something. I know you're not going to give us all, but tell Man, us something. Man, we beat up every spot we knew today. I hope we can get just as good tomorrow. I mm -hmm. don't know. And that's all we're going to talk about, right? That's all we You guys got a big about. one you like to weigh? Yeah. All right, run away for big fish. All right. So you went all in today. We went all in. That's what you got to do. You got to go big or go home, right? Never wait for tomorrow. Why well, he's been over, he said, you never wait for tomorrow, and he's absolutely right. Yep, when you get those fish, hold them up there. You can go ahead and grab the other ones, too, when you get them picked. I'll hold them all up. That's some pretty fish there, guys. Been hearing the anglers say over and over again that the Truman Lake fish have been beautiful. 218's our big fish. I don't think it'd be 218. Well, 176, just a little short, but an outstanding first day string. 1091. Guys, congratulations on an awesome day one. I'm sure we'll be talking to you guys too later, all right? There you go, and the crowd goes wild. <laughs> <laughs> that's what we're talking about coming up next seven fish limit for team number 20 mike dunn and david lane and a little one we can weigh him you get wet today though seven fish today well a lot of fish being caught today you guys are right in the middle of the hunt 781 good day one start for you yeah not as good as it has been but uh, couldn't get the big fish to bite today. Well, they'll probably bite for you tomorrow and it'll all balance out, bites, right? A lot of little bites, but no big bites. Did you hear what I said? Yeah. You'll catch them tomorrow and it'll all balance out. Oh, I hope so. There you go. All you need we lost big our ones. big fish today, so that hurt. You know, it must be one of those days I've been hearing that quite a bit. Yeah. So, guys, great day one. And what's your name, buddy? Hayden. Hayden. Hayden, how old are you? Five. Five. We're going to talk fishing tomorrow, okay? All right. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks for fishing with us, guys. We appreciate it. All right, coming up next, boat number 25, team of Noel Fernandez and Alan Morgan. Got a six fish today. Oh, there's seven fish. It grew by one. Did it? You said you better, right? Yeah. Seven fish. Guys, be right up in there, too. 995. That's going to put you right in there in the top 10 right now. How are you feeling so far? Not bad. Yeah, you got we some? can do it again. We usually don't. <laughs> hey, well, we're going to find out, aren't we? As soon as my weighing uh -huh. ticket comes out. You guys got a big fish you want to weigh? Yeah. You do? Want to weigh a big fish? 218 is the leading fish right now. There you 
There we go. And hold that guy up there, right over there. Let's check that fish out. All right. 218 is our big fish, and we're going to put this one on the scale. It's going to fall just a hair short, but a great day one fish. 183. No, we appreciate everything. Hopefully, we'll see you tomorrow. Thanks for fishing with us. Oh, you go this way. Yep. Thanks, guys. Yeah. All right, coming up next, seven fish limit for boat number 15, team of Rich Campbell and Travis Stevens. <coughs> And you got a fan base out there. Bucksaw Resort, Resort and Marina sponsor team. How you guys doing? Uh, it was tough. Your position good for day two, though. Yeah. As soon as they calm down. 835, good day one start for you. It's all about adjustments on day two, though, right? Yeah. You know what you're going to do already? You guys got to talk about it. <laughs> We're going to talk a lot. <laughs> We're going to talk a lot. All right. Well, guys, we appreciate you fishing with us. We're going to talk again tomorrow. Thanks, guys. All right, coming up, seven fish limit for boat number eight, Rusty Brown and Shannon Beckman. Come up here, guys. The One Pole Wonders. How you doing? Good. How you doing, Jim? How was those trees today? Yeah, it's tough. Were they on the hedge or the cedar? They was on a little everything. It was just kind of one of them days. We've caught two to four kicker fish every day, and three o'clock or older round, we didn't get one. There you go. <laughs> 858, though, you're right in the hunt. Good, you know, Truman's always to turn around. It's either hit or miss on That's day two. Right. So right. you're setting good. We're going to talk again tomorrow, all right? We'll be back. Appreciate it, guys. Thanks for fishing with us. Here's your ticket. Thanks, sir. All right, coming up next, seven fish limit for team number 50, Marty Snyder and Jackie Albin. <clears throat> Here comes Jackie. How you doing, bud? Good, how are you? Good to see you. Seven fish today. Yep. How was it? Oh, uh, they caught a lot of fish, just couldn't find the big ones today. Oh, well, you found some good fish, though. Uh, 969, you're right in the mix of things for day two. Yeah. Any changes, you're going to do the same thing. We're going to try the same thing tomorrow. Hope Very good. Bite. I hope they do, too. <laughs> good to see you guys. You. We'll talk to you tomorrow. Thanks a bunch. Thank All right, coming up next, boat number 53, team of Brian Thomas, Mike Zimmerman, another seven fish limit. How you doing? Good, how you doing? Been better. Been better. The important thing is getting on the board. Hey, maybe I'll catch this big one tomorrow. That's, so. There you go. <laughs> 551 for your day one total. Good luck tomorrow. Appreciate you fishing with us. All right, coming up next, boat number two, or team number two, team of Kyler Beckman and Joe Popejoy. So six fish today, guys? Yeah. Seventh one get off? We had a lot of them get off. We struggled today. Struggled real bad. You know what? 575, not a bad start for day one. Probably not what you expected. No, but not even close. You know, I said before, <laughs> later, people will be watching online, they're like, man, I, I wish I could have that 575. So <laughs> congratulations to be out here with the ACT. We appreciate you fishing with us. We're going to see you guys tomorrow, okay? Sounds good. Thank you. Appreciate it. All right, coming up next, team number 34, the seven fish limit, Bruce McCaig and Paul Handley. How you guys doing today? You stay right over here. How was it? It was a rough one. Not bad, though. 504. That's why they call it a two day tournament. You'll yeah. add more tomorrow, right? I hope so. All right, guys. Great day one. We'll talk to you again tomorrow, okay? See you later, Bruce. All right, coming up next, team number 30. Is it Gelati? Yep. Mike Gelati, John Gelati. I thought I was going to butcher it, guys. Sorry. Yeah, you did all right. Better all than right. most. Better than most. Great day one start for you. You're right, Not 100 things. Yeah. 927. You That's got this, good enough for me. You guys going to grind it out? You got some changing to do. We're going to grind it out. Look for that We're one kicker. Grind it out. Or seven kickers. We didn't have any big fish bite today. We had a lot of pound fish, but you need those 150s and 60s, not 110s. I got a feeling you know where they're at. I might. All right, guys, we're going to see you tomorrow. This way, sir. There you go. Thanks for fishing with us. We'll see you tomorrow. All right, coming up next, team number 33, Jeff Lewis and Matt Beckman. Seven fish limit. Guys, how you doing? Pretty good. Yourself? Doing great. Good. Wishing I was doing what you guys were doing. Oh, it was, it was a tough day. It was a grinder. It was definitely a grinder. So. 944, great day one start for you. That's going to put you at 944 right there, about 14th, 15th. That's good spot to be. Not too bad. Not too bad. It could, it could, we can definitely upgrade. You know, we've, we've had a pretty good practice, and today was nothing like it has been in practice. So we, we really struggled today, and we couldn't put, you know, anything together today. It just uh, We did a lot of running. And uh, it sounds like we need to be trolling, so, um, but we're probably not going to because we're not good at it. So. But we're going we're gonna to go out and get rid hell tomorrow. There so. we go, guys. Yep. Great day one. We're going to be excited to see what you guys sure. pull out tomorrow. Thank you now. Appreciate it. 
Right, coming up next, we have team number 31 with the Seven Fish Limit. They were our Lake Darbone champions, Josh Gowan and Alex Rude. Probably don't like it if you have a bad day and I say you guys were a previous champion, right? Uh, you know what? It's fine. We'll, right. we'll live on that glory all year long. I suppose we have to. Heck yeah. Not a bad day. One of you guys fished Truman before? Once. One time? Mm -hmm. Yep. Respectable yep. day one, 770. Got some adjustments to make for tomorrow? I'd say. I'd say all the adjustments. <laughs> yeah. All the make adjustments. All the adjustments. Just going to take it out and go for broke? Yeah. No, you're fine. Anything you want to add there? Uh, no, we're going after him tomorrow, though, for sure. That's all you can do, right? <laughs> Go big or go home. Guys, appreciate it. Good Thank to see you again. You get the weigh-in ticket. See you, Gracie. All right, coming up next, team number 55, seven fish limit for Robert Ward and Grant Crenshaw. From Grenada Lake to Truman Lake. How was it? Uh, it was a lot better day than it has been in practice, but wasn't good enough. That's a good day one start for you, 838. Put you right in the middle of the hunt. Yeah. Make sure uh, beats starting out in 64th. Yeah, yeah. yeah. We just uh, hope we can keep it up and do better and not slide like we did at Sardis. Do a little better. Consistency is key, right? <laughs> That's right. All right. Well, we're going to see you tomorrow. Good to see you again. Here's your weigh-in ticket. Appreciate you fishing. Thank we'll you. see you tomorrow. You bet. Folks, stick around. We've got a great crowd. We're going to be announcing our top ten here in just a little bit. We've got a handful of anglers left to weigh. Let's bring up team number 54 with the seven fish limit, Michael Walters and Rick Solomon. B&M sponsored pro staff team. Guys, how you doing? Fantastic. Great fun, Good. fantastic. Look at this. You're going to get up there in that 10-pound barrier and get her settled down there a little bit. They're good and lively. Ranger Live Wells. It says Ranger Live Wells. 10.04, you dig it over that barrier. That's going to put you right there in eighth place right now overall. Got to be happy with that. Very happy with that. Uh, the bite was uh, good early. Then it uh, tapered off for us in the afternoon. Uh, the camera boat got in with us, and it was too late to end. We've already caught our fish for the day. So uh, hopefully we haven't burned everything up. We got, uh, we got a few uh, places we haven't tried yet, so looking forward to tomorrow. All right, well, it looks like I've got maybe three or four left away, and you guys are right there in the hunt in eighth place. Is that right? That's so we'll see we'll if it sticks, it. right? That's right. All right, congratulations, guys. Great day one start. Probably be talking to you guys later. All right, thank you. Thank you. Here you go, Mike. All right, we're getting down to the final few here. Next is uh, boat number 60, team of Eric Weathup and Matt Webster. Got a seven fish limit. What's going on, guys? Not much. From bass to crappie to crappie to bass, and yep. crappie today is 861. Great first day for you. Thanks. Could be better, but we left our fish for a while. Uh, didn't work out. Hopefully things go better tomorrow. Did you learn anything to make the adjustments? You can go out and do the same thing to, today, tomorrow. Uh, maybe adjust quicker. Adjust quicker. Get back where we're catching them instead of leaving them. Did you guys see whenever the uh, it's been overcast most of the day and then the sun popped out? Did you see a big change in fishing at that time? Yes. Uh, I well, the fishing was worse today than it has been for us practicing. Okay. Well, we'll talk about that more tomorrow. You guys are right in the hunt of things. Great day one start for you. It's always good to be in the hunt and not out of it. So see you guys tomorrow. Thanks, Eric. See you guys. All right, coming up next, we have team number 39 with the seven fish limit for Keith Mueller and Wes Cooper. How you doing? Good. Got a good seven today? Yeah, not bad. Yes, you do. Check that out. You're going to get up in that 10-pound mark, too. 10.02. That's going to put you right there, I believe, in ninth place. You're right there on the bubble, and there's only two left away. Yeah, what do you think? I'm good with that. Did you sneak yeah. behind, look over your shoulder, see if they were bigger? No, no. You no didn't, I can't you see you in there. No. You didn't do that small, you that small talk inside. It's like, right. hey, let me check your fish out. You no. kind of peek in there. Nope. Didn't do that at all? <laughs> no. All right. Nope. It's kind of crazy. But great, great. I hope it sticks for you. We'll talk to you here in just a little bit, okay? Thank you, Thank you sir. All right, we're down to two teams left, and we're going to have that top ten announced here just shortly. Right now we have team number 14, Jeremy Campbell and Jordan Propst, seven fish limit. How you guys doing? Oh, we're doing all right. How are you? Doing good. Long day. Long day, he says. 8.58, good day one start. It seems like to be the, the going thing in the eight, nine pound strings. Yeah. You guys got some changing to do for tomorrow? Or? I'll probably grind it out. We missed a lot of good buys today. So. I hope those big ones come for you tomorrow. This, you know this field is notorious for flipping on Truman Lake. It for changes sure. at the drop of a hat. So as long as you're in the hunt, you're in the hunt. Yep. So appreciate it, guys. Okay, thank you. Good luck to you tomorrow. We'll be talking again. Thank you now. 
All right, and bringing up the rear, our last angler of the day, team number 58. He's flying solo, Mr. Greg Webster. He got up late and weighed in late. Yeah. And he's on the board with? Solo. Now, here, let's weigh um, big fish and string all, all at the one, same, all time. same time. Yeah, when you uh, oversleep and get kicked out of bed by your wife, that's when you know you did good on day I was, one. I was going to do it superstar style. 133, how did you do it? <laughs> no, sorry. <laughs> no, I'm not doing yeah. that to you, Greg. Good to see you. All right. Sorry you had a late start this morning. Right. We'll see you tomorrow. All right, guys, believe it or not, we flew right through that, and that is our day one weigh-in. So let's take a quick break, and then we're going to bring back our top ten. So, folks, stick around. We'll be right back. The excitement's just getting ready to start. You know... I've never really had an office job. Ooh, <laughs> morning, Skate. Morning, Edwin. <laughs> Go to teamgtfishing.com to see more. ago and she's been there for you every day since it's because you've taken care of her pampered her only the best will do that's why you choose lucas oil marine products to protect her every day she starts gets you there and gets you back even after all these years lucas oil marine products because it's no fun to walk back to shore from the middle of the lake B&M Pulse is a family-owned business in its third generation of ownership and over 70 years of providing the most extensive line of crappie rods in the industry. We believe that sensitivity is the key to catching crappie, and we've designed a rod for every technique based around this belief. Our products are field-tested by the best fishermen in the country and used by the best guides because their clients can simply catch more crappie. So when you're choosing your next crappie pole, go with the brand that's won a dozen national championships and more regional events to count. Go with the brand I choose, B&M. We put the Rockport Rattler to a real test. Two champion anglers using four rods with the competition jigs against four rods using the Rockport Rattler. The result, the Rockport Rattler outfished the competition 10 to 1. Rockport Rattler, great head. His patented rattling jig contains a rattling chamber in the body of the jig. The rattle is amplified by using water as a conductor. Rockport Rattler. Making fish hear it at much greater distances. Just like a dinner bell for fish. If you don't have a Rockport Rattler, you ain't catching crappy. You know, I've never really had an office job. Ooh, <laughs> morning, Skate. Morning, Edwin. <laughs> Go to teamgtfishing.com to see more. ago and she's been there for you every day since it's because you've taken care of her pampered her only the best will do that's why you choose lucas oil marine products to protect her every day she starts gets you there and gets you back even after all these years lucas oil marine products because it's no fun to walk back to shore from the middle of the lake B&M Pulse is a family-owned business in its third generation of ownership and over 70 years of providing the most extensive line of crappie rods in the industry. We believe that sensitivity is the key to catching crappie and we've designed a rod for every technique based around this belief. Our products are field tested by the best fishermen in the country and used by the best guides because their clients can simply catch more crappie. So when you're choosing your next crappie pole, go with the brand that's won a dozen national championships and more regional events to count. Go with the brand I choose, B&M. We put the Rockport Rattler to a real test. Two champion anglers using four rods with the competition jigs against four rods using the Rockport Rattler. The result, the Rockport Rattler outfished the competition 10 to 1. Rockport Rattler, great head. His patented rattling jig contains a rattling chamber in the body of the jig. The rattle is amplified by using water as a conductor. Rockport Rattler. Making fish hear it at much greater distances. Just like a dinner bell of fish. If you don't have a Rockport Rattler, you ain't catching crappy. And we're back, folks. Thanks for tuning back in. It's time for a championship Saturday tomorrow.
to find out who's going to be our Truman Lake champions. And folks, Truman Lake did not disappoint. This is an amazing top ten that we're about ready to announce. Tomorrow is Championship Saturday, and we will be announcing the winner of a new 2017 Ranger RT 188C with a motor and over $50,000 in cash and prizes, plus contingencies, folks. So stick around, but more importantly, it's time to announce our top 10 to compete tomorrow for the shootout here at Truman Lake, presented by Rockport Rattlers and Martin Metal. In 10th place, they had 995. Let's give it up for the team Fernandez and Morgan. Congratulations, guys. Let's go out here at the end, okay? In ninth place with 10.02, team of Mueller and Cooper. In eighth place with 10.04, Walters and Solomon. In seventh place with 10.06, never seen him so excited, Paul Alpers, Clint Hibden. Mud dauber. In sixth place with 1029, they're in the angle of the year hunt. The team of Blackley and Van Cleve. <laughs> and in fifth place, they're right behind second place in the angle of the year points. Lucas Oil sponsored team with 1030, Kent Watson, Matt Outlaw. In fourth place, Truman is almost their home, if not their home. They've whacked them before. They'll probably whack them again with 1056. Charlie Bunning, Travis Bunning. In third place, they're your Angler of the Year leaders. They are past Kentucky Lake winner, and they're going to be in for it tomorrow with 1057. Ronnie Capps, Steve Coleman. In second place with 1074, always a threat on Truman Lake, Ozark Rod sponsored. Give it up for Cox and Hockett. <laughs> and your first place leaders with 1091, Bobby Garland sponsored, Dant and Zufall. Ladies and gentlemen, this is your 2017 American Crappie Trail Top 10 right here at Truman Lake. What do you think, folks? Oh. Tomorrow's going to be a real treat. We're going to have a unique drive through weigh-in like we did at the last one. We're going to see you all tomorrow. Pre-show starts at 3 o'clock. We're going to see Mr. Matt Morgan and the wonderful, as always, Sam Heaton to give you the insight on which one of these 20 guys is going to walk away with a brand new Ranger boat. Folks, God bless. Thanks so much for checking in. We're going to see you tomorrow. Thanks for watching the American Crappie Trail. <laughs>